Hey, what's up guys? Today, iOS 10.3.1 was released. Now, this fills in the missing gap between iOS 10.3 and 10.3.2 beta 1. So, kind of makes sense here. It's a very, very tiny update and just wanted to go over the one change inside of it and give you a little idea of what's going on right now. So, iOS 10.3.1 is available over the air even for the iPhone 5. So, even though iPhone 5 isn't getting 10.3.2, you'll find this update in here. So, I'm already on it and I got to tell you the only difference in this update is fixing one issue with an arbitrary Wi-Fi execution bug. So someone within your immediate vicinity could get into your Wi-Fi chip and execute code through that. So according to the security notes of Apple, that is the one change in this update. Other than that, I have looked through it and I haven't found anything. So, you know, pretty much download this update and prevent your device from being hacked from within the Wi-Fi chip. So I just wanted to show you that this is what it's going to look like. Of course, for anyone on iOS 10.3 already, there is no reason not to update to this firmware. So I just wanted to go ahead and run a Geekbench real quick, show you guys what's going on with this version number. Uh, but it's such a tiny update that I doubt there will be anything different in there. As for 10.3.2, that doesn't really have anything exciting in it either. Uh, so really not much feature wise here to talk about. So I just got back from California, guys, while this is running. Um, my account got hacked by our mind. Guys, I just want to say F you to the people that did that to my account. Really not fun going and changing the titles back. I did about 150 before I got too tired of it and quit, but it should be all good now, according to YouTube. Uh, it was a vulnerability for the network I'm partnered with, so um, you know I had no control over that. It wasn't like they hacked my password. No, I got quite the lengthy password. Uh, but anyways, so uh, 3500, 3467, eh, not much of a difference here, 10.3 to 10.3.1. Of course, it's advised updates just for the security content of this update. But guys, there it is. That is iOS 10.3.1. A um, couple other little things I wanted to mention. Shutterbug is not uh, fixed as usual. You know, one day I'm just going to stop expecting this thing to even get fixed. Uh, but also, I want to show you guys an interesting little bug here. So um, let's say you want to put your device in the landscape and view this photo through 3D Touch, right? Well, click on it and it opens what? Some completely wrong thing and it's like spliced between them while you're swiping through them. Like, what is going on here? So uh, another bug. That Apple should be aware of here. It'll never open up in landscape mode while you 3D touch. Also, if you guys want to see uh, the vlog of what we did in Cali, I'm debating whether or not I should post it. So um, if you do want to see that, let me know down below in the description. But otherwise, there it is, guys. iOS 10.3.1. Just a quick little update on that. Uh, of course, update if you want to. If you are jailbroken, stay where you are as usual. Really no news on that as far as the jailbreak goes. So sorry, I don't have much to share with you on that. All right, guys, enjoy the updates, the Wi-Fi vulnerability fix. If that's even called enjoying it at all, <laughs> but okay, peace.